my fellow Australians, Craig McGoose here, Australian Minister for Bad Jokes. You've all heard the news. Stage 3 restrictions will be returning for another six weeks. Well done, Melbourne. We are currently the USA of Australian states. However, rather than hop on the New South Wales bandwagon of snobbery, I suggest we support our struggling Melbournians. Now, I understand lockdown has had adverse effects on many of us, but we still have ways to go before this is beaten, which is why I have compiled this step-by-step -step breakdown of how we can get through this. This is How to Survive Lockdown. Step 1. Pace aimlessly around your backyard wondering what the fuck you're going to do during lockdown. Step 2. Head into the living room to watch TikTok videos on Facebook because you're too much of a snob to get a TikTok account. <laughs> Step 3. Remember you have an assignment due tomorrow that you have not started. <laughs> Step 4. Read the assignment and open up a Word document. Step 5. Spend the next hour wondering how you're going to start the assignment. Okay, okay, you can do this. Next time, don't wait till last minute to do this. I should use the introduction as a way of working out what I'm going to discuss. That way, I'm not sifting through information on websites that aren't relevant. It doesn't matter if it's a bit messy. I can always polish it afterwards. I need some coffee. Some coffee would help me concentrate. Though, I should probably make a start and then reward myself with coffee. I want some busy bolognese for dinner. Actually, I've had that a bit too often. I should have something different just to be healthy. Step 6. Pull an all-nighter. Work at the keyboard like the gym carry at a laptop meme. Step 7. Cry into a glass of milk in the middle of the night. <laughs> Step 8. Submit the assignment a split second before the deadline. Step 9. Fall asleep with the computer on. Step 10. Wake up in the morning to get yourself a cup of coffee and realise there's no more milk because you cried into the last of it. Feel your stomach grumble because you didn't have dinner last night and remember that there's some leftover bolognese in the fridge. Step 11. Walk over to the TV and put on The Last of Us Part 2. Actually, I was going to watch more Tiger King. You haven't finished Tiger King yet? What's wrong with you? And that is how you can survive lockdown. <laughs> yeah, this guy's funny.